This is Julie Glenn, and this is continuous coverage of Hurricane Irma on WGCU. When these storms break out, all of the stations in this five county area have to have a radio tuned to a channel that they can reliably turn on and get information from should they lose outside communication to their reporters, to phones and other sources, and that's us. The reason we do it is because we provide a public service. We have an obligation, we feel, to provide that service as best we can for as long as we can. So when people lose power, they lose access to television. The only contact that you have is a battery-powered radio. We can translate to them, well, the radar is showing this, the eye is here, and here's what your local emergency officials are saying. I wanted to ask you a little bit about cars trying to run through floodwaters. We all know it's a bad idea, but what exactly happens when a car is going into something that's deeper than they thought? We know we're here with each other, we have supplies. We have a ton of food from foodie people, and then we have ramen for the Nod and foodie people. We have a backup generator so that we can continue to broadcast, and there's room for us and some of our families. When they were first talking about setting up for this storm coming here, I said, I will come in and happily cover this, but I'm not gonna do it and leave my family at the house. I can't be separated from my little girl and my husband and my dog when this is going on. I've been through hurricanes that have gone around me. I've never been in a situation like this where the eye has gone right over us, which is happening right now. Being home is worse. Here, we're actually safer because the station is designed to withstand a storm because we have to be here. We have to stay until authorities tell us it's safe to get out of here. And then I'm going to run home and see if I still have windows in my house. This has been continuing coverage during Hurricane Irma from WGCU.